can get it all the way out. Uh, how's everybody feeling tonight? That's a little weak for a Friday night. How's everybody feeling tonight? That's more like it. We're really excited to have you here at Jazz St. Louis. My name is Andy Amon. I'm the Director of Education here at Jazz St. Louis. And I'm on the stage tonight because this is a... Thanks, Matt. Uh, because this is a really special week here at Jazz St. Louis. Um, these folks that you're about to hear on the stage have been here all week, uh, not necessarily playing music, but here clinicking, working with students all over the area, performing for students. So they've been doing a lot of great work. They've reached nearly 500 students from over 50 schools in the area. I know there are quite a few of those students in the house right now. If you have had a clinic, a performance, or something from one of these artists this week, can you stand up and be acknowledged? They're here for you this week. Yeah. So not only did they get to have a clinic with one of these amazing artists, they're now going to get to hear them perform. Uh, I first saw, well, I've known these three individually for a long time, but I saw them perform together a few years ago at the Jazz Education Network Conference, and it was one of the, uh, my most favorite things that I've, I've heard in years. And I said, we have to figure out a way to make that happen here. So it's happening tonight for you in this room. So uh, without further ado, let me introduce to you Mr. John Clayton, Mr. Matt Wilson, and Mr. Jeff Coffin. How's everybody doing? Well, thank you for coming out and spending part of your Friday with us. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. We have a lot of music for you, so we want to get to it because we don't have a whole lot of time uh, in this set. So uh, uh, this first thing we're going to do is the tune of mine uh, entitled Espoo You, which was uh, written after hearing the great Sonny Rollins over in Espoo, Finland, uh, when I was there with Bela Fleck and the Flecktones many years ago. So uh, this one always goes out to the great Sonny Rollins. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name is John Clayton. What a joy it is to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and joining us tonight. I know that you could be somewhere else right now doing something else, but you wanted to prove your good taste by being here. That means a lot to us. So <clears throat> you're watching three friends have a lot of fun. Um, the as, as Andy mentioned, we first got together a couple of years ago, and that magic happened. And it took us a couple of years, but it's happening again here now, tonight, with all of you. And we thank you for that opportunity. Um, we decided that we would all contribute compositions and arrangements to this evening, so uh, it's my turn. And I, I can't remember the background to this song that I wrote. Um, so you can just make up your own story. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Usually we're searching for a title because we have the story. Now it's reversed. Yeah. You know, we've got the uh, title and we're looking for your story. Anyway, the name of this is Grizzly. Okay. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you decide. You decide. You come up with the story.
you. Thank you. Uh, how about for John Clayton? Yeah. Grizzly. Yeah. <laughs> about the time you got lost in the woods? In the northern part of Oregon when you got lost out there for oh, months? That, uh -huh. was, that was you, right? That's me. Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, Whatever you say. That's my story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So gotcha. You, you told us to make a story yeah, yeah, of, right? Yeah, so, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. No, I like that. Yeah. Mine has something to do with ice cream, but I don't know what. Right. <laughs> 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 We're going to uh, carry on now with another tune of mine uh, entitled Youssef, uh, for the late, great Youssef Latif. Uh, a few years back, I had uh, the opportunity to um, get some of his instruments. This is right, right? Nope. No? Nope. It is now. Oh, it is now. Oh, all right. Well, you want to do the other one first? Up to you. Well, let's do that one. Never mind. <laughs> it's, it's another one of yours. You can tell him about it. This is one I just don't have a chart for because I don't have a chart for because it's mine and I know it. Uh, this one's entitled The Inside of the Outside. And uh, we hope you like this one. We hope you like them all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Thank you. That was the inside of the outside, and uh, it certainly was. <laughs> That's a fun tune. Um, okay, so now on to this tune, Yusef. Uh, a, few, a few years back, two or three years ago, um, after Yusef Latif passed, a friend of mine in Western Massachusetts uh, was asked to um, sort of take care of his estate, his musical estate. So he got in touch with me, um, knew I was a big Yusef uh, fan. And uh, he said, are you interested uh, in any of his instruments? And I said, absolutely. So he said, when I get eyes on it, he says, I'll send you a photo, tell you the condition. He was a repairman. And uh, he says, I'll tell you the condition of everything and, uh, and let you know what there is. So uh, maybe a few months went by, he got in touch, sent me a photo of all these horns laid out, oboes and saxophones, flutes, you know, all this, all this stuff. And uh, um, so I said, I want his bass flute and his main tenor uh, that he was playing at the time. And uh, so I bought those two instruments. And uh, um, I've, I've played them both quite a bit. The bass flute, quite a lot. Uh, the tenor, a little less so, um, just because to me that's a little more on the precious side of things. And, uh, but when I first got the tenor, of course I had to take it out, I had to play it immediately. And uh, I'm not sure he had ever cleaned it, uh, but it's probably part of the sound. You know, so I, I'm glad I didn't kind of look in the neck before I played it. Uh, maybe I hadn't, wouldn't have. Um, anyhow, 
<laughs> so, um, when I played that tenor, um, th this was literally one of the very first things that came out of the horn. And uh, so I always tell people that, that Yousef left a tune in the horn for me. So uh, this one goes out to him. This one's entitled Yousef. And I'm going to be playing a, um, well, I'm not sure what this is, actually. Um, but you'll get to hear it. And, uh, um, yeah.
fun. <laughs> so we're going to uh, kind of bump it up a little bit on this next tune. Where's Andy? Andy, you over there? Yeah, what the Andy. Andy! Andy! Andy's been here working on the plumbing, and uh, he's put a mouthpiece on it, apparently. Oh, that's a baritone saxophone. Oh, I'm sorry. Give it up for Andy, y'all. We're going to uh, go down to New Orleans on this next one, if that's all right with you. Yeah. All right, so uh, if you uh, feel like getting up and shaking what you got, this would be a good tune to do it on. Okay? Don't hurt uh, Don't hurt yourself. Well, you know. Or you. It's okay. You know, you'll heal. <laughs> um, so this is, a, uh, this is a blues with a couple of bars of seven, a couple of odd bars of seven in the middle of it. And uh, this one's entitled Tall and Lanky.
Andy Amet, yeah, yeah. He's something else, he picks us up every day. He's always so calm. How you doing, Andy? Good. <laughs> Heard you won the lottery? Yeah. <laughs> Heard you got your foot run over by a car? Yeah. No, he's great. So uh, we, we appreciate his uh, help all week and uh, guidance and uh, getting us every place safely and uh, taking us to really great restaurants. So we appreciate that too. And his, his lovely girlfriend, Ra Rachel, who was with us a lot of times. And yeah, Rachel in the house. So uh, it has indeed been a pleasure uh, to return to St. Louis. And uh, this is a, it's a great place. This, is, uh, this place has a, this is a soul center right here, this place right here. You look on the map, you know, from space, you know, from the, the astronauts are looking down and going, wow, what's going on in St. Louis? Look at that little place. It's like letting off the soul light. <laughs> and, uh, and on top of that, to share not only with the great students but from myself, to share this stage and to share this week with two dear friends that I just happen to be lucky to play music with. So again, once again, the great John Clayton, a dear friend and mentor. John Lee Clayton and uh, Jeff Coffin over there. Jeff Coffin, my dear friend for many years. This all came about, we were playing, Jeff and I were playing a festival one time in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We were both guesting with different bands and backstage I said to him, we gotta do something, we gotta do something with John Clayton. He goes, okay, so I texted John. John texted back, okay, let's do it. So I got us, we got it, we applied for this thing at the Gen Conference. And now, uh, next, there we are, so it's great. And uh, indeed, I can't be happy enough to be here. Um, we're gonna finish off this set with a couple of compositions of mine. And um, I'm so uh, happy to get to present them and again, play them with these uh, two, two great musicians. The first one is, you know, in, in life you're, you're uh, lucky and if you get to meet some people that help lift you and bring you to other places and I've been fortunate in the last handful of years to to meet someone like that and I'm dedicated this tune to where I just recorded on a new record of mine but it's great to get to play it uh, with these gentlemen and it's called Each Day With You and uh, my girlfriend Kim is here tonight it's de dedicated to her and uh, thank you and, um, and we're going to finish off the set with a, uh, one of the songs uh, from my book of many songs that I've written to Carl Sandburg poetry called Bubbles. So we'd like to, uh, again, from the bottom of our hearts, thank each and every one of you for coming to share these moments with us. And again, this is all an offering and receiving kind of affair. We're offering and receiving up here, but we're getting and receiving a lot from you. So thank you for each of you for your positive energy and love. So we appreciate it so much. So this is each day with you into Bubbles. Thank you so much.
two bubbles found they had rainbows on their curves. They flickered out saying, it was worth being a bubble just to have held that rainbow 30 seconds. Two bubbles found they had rainbows on their curves. And they flickered out saying, you know, it was worth being a bubble just to have held that rainbow for 30 seconds. Thank you so much. Once again, show your St. Louis gratitude for the great Jeff Coffin on the saxophones and flute. Jeff Coffin, Jeff Coffin. John Clayton on the contrabass, ladies and gentlemen. John Clayton, John Clayton. They give it up for the one and only Matt Wilson on the so drums. Matt you, Wilson thank you, thank you, thank you so and much. the recitation. Thank you so much, everybody. We do have CDs available. Half the money from all the sales will go to Jazz St. Louis. They're 10 bucks. You can pay more if you want. Half of all that's going to Jazz St. Louis. Check it out over there. Matt Wilson, Sean Clayton, Jeff Coffin. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jazz St. Louis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have another set in a few minutes. Thank you. Give it up one more time. Matt Wilson, John Clayton, Jeff Coffin. We'd like to thank you all for coming tonight. We'd like to thank our sponsor.